How many Robux has the strongest battlegrounds actually made? Maybe you've thought about this question before, or maybe it hasn't even crossed your mind. Regardless, we're gonna try to figure it out today. The first step is to figure out the amount of players that played the game. So, if we look at the visits, we can't really determine how many players played the game in total, since one person can have multiple visits on one account. A better metric to go by here is favorites. As of today, 1.2 million players have favorited this game, which means we know for a fact that at least 1.2 million unique players have played the game before. Going by the popularity of this game, it is safe to assume that at least 10 million unique accounts have joined the game before. Let's keep this in mind for now. To find out how many Robux this game earned, we have to look at what revenue streams this game actually has. Usually, Roblox games have three ways of earning Robux. Game passes, premium payouts, and in-game purchases. The strongest Battlegrounds utilizes all three of these. So, let's calculate how many Robux the strongest Battlegrounds earned through these three methods. First, we can look at the likes slash dislikes on the game passes and add them together to see how many players bought a game pass for sure. I calculated these numbers by multiplying the total likes and dislikes with the cost of the game pass. As we can see, Early Access has 18k likes and dislikes in total, which is 5.3 million Robux. Special Cosmetics has 9k, which is 675,000 Robux. Private Servers Plus has 12k, which is 4,788,000 Robux. And lastly, Extra Emote Slots has 1k, which is 99,000 Robux. In total, that adds up to 10.9 million Robux. If we deduct the Robux tax from that, which is 30% on Game Passes and developer products, we end up with 7.6 million Robux. This is the minimum amount of confirmed Robux that the developers have earned with this game, since you need to buy a Game Pass in order to either like or dislike it. Since only a small percentage of people actually interact with Game Passes at all, there's probably a large number of people that bought the Game Passes without leaving any trace behind, meaning we cannot see that they've bought it. It's safe to say that if we multiply the total amount of likes slash dislikes of each Game Pass anywhere from 5 to 10x, we likely get a lot closer to the real number of purchased Game Passes. Now, we are most likely very inaccurate here, since we don't know how many people actually bought these Game Passes for sure, but I don't think we are above the real numbers, even if we multiply by 5. So I'm just going to 5x the minimum earnings from the Game Passes, which was 7.6 million Robux. That would make 38 million and 304,000 or 134,000 US dollars using the current DevX rates. When it comes to developer products, also known as in-game purchases, there is no way we can see how many people bought it. The same goes for premium payouts. We have no clue of how much the developers are potentially earning from it. This is why I think it's safe to add another 100 Robux per player that favorited the game. That would be an extra 122 million and 102,000 Robux, or 85 million and 472,000 Robux after the 30% Roblox tax. That's almost an extra 300,000 US dollars. If we add everything together, that makes 123 million. 776,030 Robux, or around 434,000 US dollars. Wow! These numbers are of course inaccurate, as we can only guess how much they made, but it is likely even far higher than what I've guessed. The game has reached over 120k concurrent players recently, so honestly we could at least 5 or 10x the final amount of Robux again, and probably still not get close. Of course, I cannot say anything for sure, though. But I thought it would be interesting to see how much the game might have earned. Anyways, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. Bye!